So yet another big talent is putting Warner Brothers on blast, saying they're extremely angry with the way things have gone, and had they known Warner Brothers' plans, they wouldn't have bothered making the movie at all. I mean, first we have the JD stuff, then we have Christopher Nolan, now we have this. It seems like every other week you have negative headlines about Warner. Bravo, Warner. You seem to be shoveling dirt right on your own reputation. Bravo, indeed. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. Now, when you see a headline like this, it not only tells you that there are still huge problems going on behind the scenes with Warner Brothers, but that the huge problems caused by Warner Brothers, none of these are being fixed. See, if you look back to those first HBO Max announcements and the blowback that was received, all of this was about no one being told what Warner Brothers was doing. Now, Warner Brothers ended up making a lot, and I do mean a lot of promises, to try to keep the entirety of Hollywood from boycotting them. Directors were saying they were going to walk away after all. You had talent saying they were going to as well. They said one of the things that they would do is always communicate. And yet, when you look at this interview with David Chase from Deadline, talking about the Sopranos prequel, well, you get the feeling that he doesn't feel that that's going that way at all. So, Deadline asks, this prequel was an easier sell, but because Warner Media put its entire 2021 slate as day and date on HBO Max, what they mean there is it opens on HBO Max the same days that it ends up opening in the theaters. You're back on HBO. How does that feel? Now, you would think that this would be a positive statement, considering we're talking about the guy who created The Sopranos. He's back making a Sopranos film, but no, that's not how the statement comes out at all. So he says, I don't think, frankly, that I would have taken the job if I had known it was going to be a day and date release. I think it's awful. Wow. I think it's awful. When you look at this statement, he wasn't told what he was being contracted for here. He thought he was going to get a chance to showcase this on the big screen. Wasn't going to be the small screen as well. And yeah, you can see betrayal in the way that this was treated. Now, Deadline clarifies this even more with their next question, asking David Chase how he felt when this edict was handed down. Quote, It is kind of ironic that here you make a theatrical film based on an iconic HBO series, and it's coming out day and date on something with HBO in the title. What did you feel when that edict came down? What did you feel with that return? I think Deadline actually thought that he was going to have some type of nostalgia come fluttering to the top, but instead of that, he tells you, Oh, I was angry. I was extremely angry about this decision, and I still am extremely angry about this decision. I don't blame him about that either. Then he starts telling you about why, and this kind of makes sense. You know, it takes him a minute to get there. His sentence structure is a little broken, but listen. Listen to what he's saying. I thought that this actually made sense here. I mean, I don't know how much uh, you go into this, you know, like, okay, if I was one of those guys, if one of those executives was sitting here and I was to start pissing and moaning about it, they'd say, you know, there's 17 other movies that have the same problem. What could we do? COVID. Well, I know, but those 16 other movies didn't start out as television shows. They don't have to shed those uh, television images before you get people into the theater. But we do. And you know what? I mean, that that is so true here. When you think about the stigma associated with a TV show that ends up spawning a movie, most people want to see that as a made-for-TV movie. They don't think that this thing it could stand on its own. And what is Warner Brothers? said here, they've said pretty much, yeah, you know what, maybe it couldn't stand on its own. Continue. And that's where we're at. People should go see it in a theater. It was designed to be a movie. It was. It's beautiful as a movie. I never thought it would be back on HBO. Never. So, I mean, you see this decried again and again. I never thought that this would be back on HBO. Never 
thought that this would be back on HBO. You can tell how much David Chase is not in love with this idea. Now, Deadline follows that question up with something really pointed, asking him, you really could have walked away from this. And you know, this answer that he gives, it reminds me of something we would hear from Christopher Nolan. Quote, yeah, I mean, well, I say that, okay, I could have walked away, yes, but there was a part of this story where my partner Lawrence was saying, come on, let's get to work, let's do something, do something, do something, it'll be good for you, now, do you want to walk away from that, I don't know, so he's saying, you know what, yeah, I could have walked away from what they did here. I didn't want to walk away from the story that we were building, but I could walk away from Warner Brothers. I mean, when you decrypt that, that's what he just said. I wasn't walking away from the movie. I wasn't walking away from doing this project. I'm walking away from Warner Brothers and what they did here. Now, Chase, he takes another shot at Warner Brothers, too, essentially talking about the way that they're going forward. Instead of having people on the screens anymore, we'll be left with what he called superheroes and bleep sticks. So Deadline asks, what do you think about the way business is changing? And Chase replies, the business is changing. There's no doubt about it. Me, I personally wish we were back in the movie theaters, and I wish that movie theaters had really great architecture and interior design. I wish we were back there, but we're not. So in terms of the art of the film, I suppose you'll always have people who are extremely creative and brilliant, but the actual technical delivery system, even if you have a really great system at home, it's not being in a movie theater with other people in the dark where their reaction kind of stirs your reaction, your your stirs theirs. It's just not that. And it's just too bad. And I guess the only thing we'll have room for now is movies about not about people but about you know superheroes and bleep sticks i don't know sounds like a lot of faith there doesn't it yeah sounds like a lot of faith indeed now the craziest thing about this situation is we're talking about one of many and many a tale where warner brothers they haven't done people fairly look at christopher nolan for example he was with them for almost two decades he had basically worked synonymously with them turning down big Big money when that HBO Max move came up. You knew they threw under the bus and happily, Christopher Nolan. Look at what happened with JD. They not only unceremoniously cut him after he has made them money hand over fist, they backed somebody that basically did horrible things to him. They actually went after the customer saying, we don't care about you either. Yeah, what they're doing is they're digging a big, big hole. They're throwing everything they have in it. And hey, more power to them. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, I appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work, so thank you. Also, I want to say I'm going to cut it right here because not feeling really well. Still trying to get over the old beer bug. That's what's been throwing off my schedule here. Hopefully next week things will be better. But thank you again. Appreciate the heck out of you. And we will see you soon.